Hello guys, welcome back to Tell We How Channel on YouTube again. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna take you to some to see some detail and also the setup process of Mercury Wi-Fi Router Model MW305R. Well, since the previous video that I made talk about the D-Link Wi-Fi Router was successfully, I mean, popular. There, there are a lot of viewer and subscriber who follow the, the the video and also leave down the comment but it was such a few years ago so now I think I'm gonna come up with a new idea and making a new video tutorial on a new model of Wi-Fi router so in this process I choose the Mercury Wi-Fi router the model MW305R and let's get start so first of all you have to understand that Wi-Fi router have their unique IP address but not that unique well every Wi-Fi router have at least you know two unique IP address one is the 9 192.168.11 I mean point one one point one point one and sometime but rarely or you know rarely seen is the 1.0 but mostly up 1.1 so in this case I mean in our router IP address it addressed it at 192.168 dot one dot one so once you have that IP address and remember that this is the unique IP address and mostly used IP address on Wi-Fi router so once you have the IP address click on that and also remember that this IP address is only supported or I mean you can only open that IP address in your browser any kind of browser it doesn't matter but must be a browser so go ahead and click enter now we're landing on Mercury MW305 or land home page. Well, this home page was specifically designed inside the Wi-Fi router. It's not a web address that linked to any website, but it's a unique IP address page that built inside your router. So if your router was the new one, the unboxing one, it must be asking you right here to enter a password that password is gonna set forever for the router so when whenever you log in you must remember your password and type it in correctly so in case mine in here is already set up with the password so I'm gonna type in my password in order to log into my Wi-Fi router page so I'm gonna type in my password oh sorry it... oh my god what, what's wrong with me today okay so now here we are we are landing we are landing on our page so now let me get you some detail because the technology the advancing in technology have developed it more and more rapidly so this Wi-Fi router has also support the QR code so you can download the code from I mean you have you can download the app inside your iPad iPhone or Android tablets by scanning this code and automatically log in through your iPhone or tablet and now in this detail we can see that here's the managing of the iPhone I mean the, I'm sorry the managing of every kind of device that you are having or connected to the router so in here in this case you can see that I got my MacBook Pro, my iPhone, and my Android tablet. So you are free to disconnect one of this. And this is the LAN page, I mean the connection page that 
show you any device that link into your router and then the middle one is the setup process so in order to connect it to the internet you have to have the account and password provided by the company the internet company so go ahead and I mean go straight to the internet company sign up pay the money and asking for the account number and the account password and then once you have it go back to your router and type it in this place the middle one the middle one in here and enter the account number also the password and then click this sign and you're set to go for a free surfing on internet so now we pass through these two process in detail and let's go get, get started to the last one here is the Wi-Fi name and password this is what it show up on your device so the name you can freely change it to whatever you want and you will see it in your setting Wi-Fi setting the name will pop up and also the password remember that this password is not I mean not really the same to I mean don't put this one don't put this password the same to the password that lock into your IP unique Wi-Fi router page do not do that must make it differently because someone who know this password could performing such a thing that call hack and change the entire password of this and you are unable to play internet anymore if they change the password but there's still a solution how to fix that and I will tell you later in the next video or something like that so remember this is the name of the password you can I mean it is the name of the Wi-Fi you can manage to change it anytime you want and if you feel like your Wi-Fi is getting connected by a you know unfamiliar familiar device or an unknown device that causes slow connection or something you can come up here and change this password and it will reset all the setting of Wi-Fi and make it run normally and then clear up all the device lists so that it will be a newly usable Wi-Fi that you can connect it to and use it by your own or your family your home or your work like that so this is all the process inside and this tape is talking about the mm, I mean the advanced setting but we don't really have to go to the advanced setting because everything was set up automatically and all we have to know is this kind of usage one is the connection the device connection show you all the device that connect to the Wi-Fi the account password from your internet service provider the account the password must type it in and here is your own Wi-Fi configuration with the name of your I, I mean it, it's the name of your Wi-Fi the password of your Wi-Fi so this is all you have to do and this is all detail I got for you today and I hope you will enjoy this video and also don't forget to subscribe to get more interesting video in the upcoming time so thank you and bye for now